So in this video, I am going to show you how you can install an M.2 NVMe SSD into a PS5 Pro. So to start off with, I would strongly recommend that you put a cloth down on your table just so that you don't scratch your PS5 Pro. Now the next thing to do is to get the PS5 Pro orientated so it is facing away from you like this is to me now. And then we tip it over onto its side like this, place it down. Now the orientation here is that the long panel is on my left hand side and the short panel is on my right hand side. So it is this short panel that we need to take off. Now to take off this short panel, what we need to do is to get our fingers under the top left corner here as we're looking at the short panel. So fingers under here, and then just give it a bit of a tug up. You're gonna have to apply a little bit of force. Don't worry about it because this is exactly what you need to do. So what I'm gonna do is just lift it up. And then as we can see, that panel has come off. Now once this panel has come off, as we can see here now, there's the fan for the PS5 Pro and here is the actual compartment where we are now going to install the NVMe M.2 SSD. Okay, so the next thing we need to do here is to remove this cover plate from the SSD compartment. And to do that, we just use a small Phillips head screwdriver to take out this screw here at the end. So I'm just gonna pop my screwdriver in here, turn the screw anti-clockwise. Then once the screw has come out, we then just remove the silver plate. It's probably just easy to get your fingernail under the corner here. Just lift it up and then grab hold of the plate here and then pull it out. Now, as we will see here, there's like a little lip at the end of the plate here, which slides into a groove in the case here on the PS5 Pro. And that's exactly how we're going to put it back in shortly. So just remove that plate and put it somewhere safe. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to remove this screw and the spacer that's underneath it from inside this SSD compartment. I will show you what the spacer is for in a moment, but just go ahead Put your screwdriver into that screw, turn that anti-clockwise as well until it is completely unscrewed. And then we'll just remove that momentarily, put it to one side. Now inside here, we've got like this little ring, okay? Now this ring is what we call the spacer, and I will show you exactly what that's for right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our SSD. In this instance, I'm using one which has already got a heatsink built onto it. Now for this, what I'm gonna do is just to line up the SSD to the end of the slot here where the M.2 connection is, and then I'm just gonna have a look at the back of the SSD here and see which of these holes inside the SSD compartments is closest to the SSD or the back of the SSD. And it is indeed this hole here. So what we need to do is to put the spacer over that hole. As you can see, the space is like a little ring. So we put the spacer over that hole, then that is ready for us to connect the back of the SSD to it with the screw that we have just taken out. Now what we need to do is to connect the M.2 NVMe SSD to the M.2 socket inside of the actual SSD enclosure. And as we can see here, this is the M.2 socket that we need to connect the SSD to. Now importantly, as we're going to be able to see, there's actually a guide pin inside of this socket here, which means that we can only put in the M.2 SSD SSD one way. So what I'm going to do now is to insert the SSD into the M.2 slot. However, just before I do that, as we can see here, where the pins are on the end, there's a cutout here in the SSD. Now that cutout will line up with that plastic piece on the M.2, which is the guide pin. So we can only put it in one way. Now what I'm gonna do here is just start feeding it into the slot where the M.2 is. And what we're gonna find is that at some point we will feel it kind of grip itself. Now if we just push it a little bit, we'll hear it kind of like do a slight click. Now if we let go of the SSD, it will hold itself in place like that, kind of becomes a bit springy. So at this point, we now know that the SSD is connected to the M.2 slot. And so what we need to do now is to 
push down the SSD at the back and then we'll put this screw back into the spacer and then we will fasten down that screw over the back of the SSD there and then that will then sit on top of the spacer so we'll fasten that right down tight and then as we will see there the SSD will now be held into place firmly and then we just put the cover plate back on now this goes on really easy as we seen earlier on there's like a lip at the back of the cover plate here and that will go into a slot just on the plastic there of the body of the PS5 Pro so as we'll see there that just pops itself in We'll just drop it back into place here then we'll use this screw to screw it back in so once again just get that screwdriver and then go clockwise with that screw just tighten it up and then that's everything sorted now at this point and now the last thing to do as far as the physical installation is concerned is to put this plastic plate back onto the ps5 pro so what we need to do here is to just line it up on the bottom edge here and as we will see this plate has got three plastic tabs on it now these three plastic tabs line up with three holes on the body there for the ps5 pro so if we just flip that plate over there those three tabs will line up with those three holes on the body so let me just line those up we will feel those kind of grip into the body there then we can just let it slip down or fall down like that and then what we do we just then put pressure on the top here and there are two catches up the top so i'm just going to put one in this side that one might not click but this one will click here so there we go so that clicks in and now that plate is back on firmly okay so there we have it then how to install an m.2 nvme ssd into a ps5 pro now of course the type of ssd that i used here was one that already had a heat sink on it however i have done another video where i am using an ssd that doesn't have a heat sink on it and then i have had to add a heat sink to it now if you are interested in watching that video there will be a link to that video in the video description below and also in the video description below i will have a bunch of links to other ssds which are going to be compatible for the ps5 pro the ps5 slim and also the standard ps5 and if you like this video please do give us a thumbs up a sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now